Two hours later. <laughs> there he is. Where'd he go? What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some fun with a copious amount of lever actions. I'm super excited about today's video. Let's go get set up and get started. Before we start having fun with my lever actions, let me show you something that's not a lever action. Kamakoto knives. Kamakoto makes great Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional techniques from Japan. Kamakoto only uses steel sourced from mills in Japan. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. These knives come in a heavy duty ashwood box, which makes for a great gift. Here you go. I personally use Kamakoto knives all the time, but I'm not the only one. They're also used by Michelin star chefs all over the world. I hate eggplant. Kamakoto is now having a Black Friday sale and they're offering my viewers $50 off any purchase when you use my code KYB. And that's on top of all their other special offers. Be sure and click my link in the description down below or swing over to kamakoto.com backslash KYB and get your knife set today and help support the channel. So like I said, today I have quite the spread of lever action rifles and I'm super excited to show them to you. I'm gonna start out with my smallest lever action and then work my way up to the biggest. The first lever action I have to show you today is a Henry golden boy. This thing is absolutely beautiful and it's chambered in 22 long rifle. It's so shiny. <laughs> that is cute, isn't it? Oh, miss. That was a lot of fun, but let's step it up to something a little bit bigger. These next targets are full of fiber. We have six pounds of refried beans and six pounds of sweet peas. The next lever action I have for you is a Henry Big Boy X model chambered in 44 Magnum. This thing is stinking sweet. You've got fiber optic sights, little picatinny rail up front, you can remove the tube and load from the top, or it has a side loading gate. And I'll be feeding this big boy some Underwood ammo, 44 Magnum, 240 grain hollow points. Refried beans are first. Oh, how about some peas? Oh! That was disgusting. <laughs> I have to say, refried beans and peas is a rather disgusting combination, but so is this. We have one gallon jugs of mayonnaise, and then I have one gallon of boom boom sauce. <laughs> this Friday is Black Friday. Buy one, get one half off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. One dollar stickers. Limited edition, sand colored, just put a thumb in it t-shirt, only available on Black Friday. We got Christmas sweaters. And we're bringing back the poop on everything shirts, 
only available on Cyber Monday. Get them while you can. Don't miss out on this huge Black Friday sale. I have so many shirts to pick from. The next rifle I have to show you is a Henry Color Case Hunt. <laughs> Anyways, what I was trying to say is our next rifle is a Henry Octagon Barrel 3030 that has been color case hardened. And the rounds we're going to be using are some Underwood Ammo 3030 150 grain controlled chaos. Boom boom sauce is first. <laughs> that definitely went boom. If Brandon Herrera is watching this, he's probably having flashbacks. <laughs> Got a few more rounds left. <laughs> I like it. Our next target is gonna be some eggplant because nobody likes eggplant. And a six pound can of eggplant puree. And the lever action rifle I'm going to be using to rid the earth of these disgusting targets is a Henry All Weather Edition 4570. Got two rounds left. This is actually my favorite rifle in the new Call of Duty right now. I'm going to be honest, I'm not very excited about these next targets. One of you sent these over. This is two watermelons and an eggplant covered in a substance called polyurea. Sounds a lot like diarrhea, which is fitting because that's pretty much what's inside these things now. Awful sloshy, isn't it? That's because it's been decomposing. Polyurea is supposed to be waterproof, and at this point, I believe it because I can't smell anything coming out of there, and it's held that watermelon in there really well. Our last lever action today is a Bighorn Armory Model 89 spike driver chambered in 500 Magnum. That's a big boy. And the ammo I'm gonna be using is some Underwood ammo 500 grain hard cast. All right, here we go. <laughs> Were you really about to watch me shoot these disgusting targets and you are not subscribed? Hit that subscribe button. Do it. Do it. Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh! Now the eggplant. I think I was a little low. Oh! I got one left, I think. Yep. That's it. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, this is gross. Ew, look at that. <coughs> there we go. Gets you a good look in there. Do you mind if I borrow this?
I still have one more target for today's video. These are Ballistic Dummy Labs zombie heads. I'm gonna blast one with 500 Magnum and the other with 4570. All right, here we go. 500 Magnum is first. <laughs> oh, he fell down. And now the 4570. <laughs> I think he needs one more. Still gonna use one hand. <laughs> that was much better. That's going to be it for today's video. Of all of the lever action rifles I used today, which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. Time.